Celiac plexus injection is an effective technique for controlling pain in chronic pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer. To identify the celiac plexus, a descending aorta is identified at approximately 35 centimeters from the incisors. Once the aorta is identified, the echoendoscope is advanced forward through the GE junction, and the first major artery to come off anterior to the aorta is the celiac artery. The space immediately superior and cephalad of the celiac artery is the region of the celiac plexus. The needle is attached to the echoendoscope. The stylet is withdrawn slightly and the needle is punctured into the space immediately anterior and cephalad of the celiac artery takeoff. This is shown here. An alternative technique is to rotate lateral to the aorta at the level of the celiac artery and inject half the anesthetic on one side and half the anesthetic on the other side of the aorta. Prior to injection, a test syringe is attached and suction is held for 10 seconds to make sure there is no blood flashback. We then perform a test injection of normal saline followed by the injection of the anesthetic agent in this case a mixture of bupivacaine and triamcinolone. During the injection it often requires considerable pressure to inject the material since the fluid is entering the soft tissue space. On most but not all occasions fluid can be seen entering from the tip of the needle and forming a small track or well of fluid near the celiac artery. Once the injection begins, it's very important not to move the needle back and forth. After completion of the injection, the syringe is removed, the needle is withdrawn, locked up, and the entire apparatus removed. By rotating the transducer right and left of the aorta, large tracts of fluid can be seen have migrated from the original injection site. 